overnight. It's winter. <laughs> There's about two and a half to three inches of snow out today. And we had a little bit of blue skies a couple hours ago, but now it's all just socked in. So we decided we weren't in the mood to play winter activities today and working in the winter. So instead we're gonna be in the shop. We're gonna start up a fire, get everything warming up nice in there. And then we'll do some things like put the whiteboard in a different spot and make a plan for our solar panels. We had a plan, still wanna move forward with that plan, but this weather's gonna make it hard to be very productive that way. So we're gonna maybe see about an interim <laughs> solution. Jeez, I cranked that down stronger than I think. 240. 240. That's our calculated number, yeah? I mean, your calculated number. <laughs> you did the calculations with me. You were doing math too. <laughs> Caught on camera. <laughs> I'm getting out of it that easy. You're just liable. <laughs> Uh, any mistakes in these measurements as I am. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess. Whoa. Complicit. We're going to go 244 for a little bit of plus and minus. A little bit of plus. Well, it's been a couple of weeks since we spent, oh, a few hours uh, trying to get our calculations all figured out and getting things moving for trying to put some solar panels off the ground. This was the, <laughs> all the reworking and figuring and talking that we did to try to decide if we wanted to have a freestanding Stedamon, some kind of a stand that we could just take down there. We could build up here by the shop take it down there, mount the panels on it, have them off the ground. One of the problems we ran into is that we decided it was gonna take a lot more material and a lot more work to make this stand, so to speak, that is just completely portable, but still strong enough. So we wanted it to be pretty sturdy and strong, withstanding any wind problems or any snow and things like that. And we didn't wanna to have to worry about it being loose and rickety when we moved it. So what we decided was we were going to get, just move back to the kind of an original idea that we'd had about having some kind of a rack where the panels are mounted, they're up off the ground, they're mounted on permanent poles and can be adjustable. So we kind of landed in this idea of having basically like this, where we have a couple poles and a rack above it and that rack, we decided we would use drill pipe for the main cross and then some angle irons welded to that to support the panels to, to give them something to mount on. So we decided a single piece of angle iron across the center and the back from top to bottom is gonna be enough support because it's actually gonna add rigidity and mount the panel well. And all the panels will be kind of screwed together so that they act as one piece being mounted to this rack. I got some angle iron picked up and I started yesterday to make sure how it was gonna go and I got them out here to the center point and I used a template piece. In fact, I used a little piece of PVC that's the same size. It's two and three out, two and three eighths outer diameter, which is the same as our drill pipe that we have. So I've marked and plasma cut the holes there and started sliding them onto the pipe. So you can see, they just slide right over the pipe. And then I'll weld them up full circle here and across there. And that's gonna hold it rigid to the pipe everywhere. And the other part is that it's gonna put it basically flush with the top of the pipe. So when I put the solar panels on, the frame of the panel will rest on the pipe and rest on the pipe and the angle iron will go out to the end and be bolted to the frame of the panel 
on each end. Then we will take some more pipe and we'll go down off the hill where we have them propped up right now. And we're gonna pound those pipes into the ground. We're gonna stick with a six panel array like this long that will go across that rack. I'm gonna have 60 inches on that side of a vertical upright and then 120 inches between and then 60 inches on this side. And that's basically gonna balance out the pipe and panel on each side of the upright so that we have a pretty even support underneath there and should minimize any sag. Essentially, we think about what we're doing is we've got a panel and a half on one side of the support and a panel and a half on the other side of the support evenly bearing that weight. And on the other support, we have the same thing, basically balancing out any sag and getting everything to come into line. It's gonna be pretty stable, I think. And 120 inches in between is a 10 foot gap, which will sit just fine on that road, but it'll also give me the ability to still come underneath those panels in the summertime if we have to use that road access. We're not blocking off that access point. We can still get under it with the Ranger. I can still fit under it with the tractor, that kind of thing. And I don't foresee needing to go under it with anything else. So. One other benefit it gives us is that in the summertime, those panels can act as a somewhat of a sunshade and or rain shade in the spring and fall when the animals are in pasture. A little bit of duplicity there, and mostly we'll get these panels up off the ground. Try to get these welded up today. We got good Sunday, so that's nice for running the welder. Plenty of power coming from the sun to do it. I'm gonna get both of these welded up so they're set to go. And then I will start making move on the pipes to get the uprights pounded in place down there and see what that's going to look like. It's so bright and sunny and nice out. Might as well do it out here where the be outside in the good weather. Plus that keeps the grinding mess and the welding dust and chatter and all that. Keeps all that out here where the mess is much less to worry about. And I'm still storing like two years worth of barley. Kind of in limbo on that for a second. And how, how many panels are you planning on putting on? There'll be six panels. Each one of these angle irons will basically go down the center of, down the center across the back of each panel. Yeah. So it'll be one, two, six panels. And then we'll put uprights right here and there, uh -huh. which is like, it basically splits the weight. We have like 60 inches here. And then from this upright to the center is 60 inches to the next upright is 60 inches. And the 60 inches. How is it going to be off the ground though? On poles, uprights. Oh, uprights. That's what you're That's talking about. That's what the word is. Yeah. Yeah. Uprights. Okay. There'll be an upright over there, 60 inches, and one right here. Okay. 60 inches. So there'll be 10 feet in between them. So they won't fly away? So they'll, so you can still drive between them. Oh, good. Yeah, so we can still drive between them in the summertime. Good. We'll be drive underneath. That's my dream. Is that one yours? Yeah, I grabbed your own. I had my own. I thought you were still in mine. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I just woke up. I need the do. Oh. <laughs> On one of the uprights, we'll put a, put a hole here. We'll put a rock or a, 
a linkage to come from this down to the upright. It has several holes so we can put it on a pin and raise it and pin it and raise it and pin it. Oh, so you can rotate it as the weather yeah. goes? Yeah. As works. the weather changes? Yep. We have been wanting to do this for <clears throat> so long. This is the year because the, the winter has been so nice. I don't know. I, I keep talking about it. <laughs> you keep talking like that. You're going to jinx us. <laughs> no, it's been good. It's been good. And we didn't freeze last night. So all the melt that started yesterday just kept. It was really warm when I came home this morning. Yeah, it was like. It's above freezing. She's going shopping for, what do you call them? Hangers? No. Rotator, yeah. rotator yeah. cuff. A strap. I would call it a strap, maybe. A strap. Yeah. Rotator cuff. Is that what you call it? That's what I called it. <laughs> hmm. Let's be a nurse. Found it. Doesn't work. doing? <laughs> I'm brazing this. A little sparkler helped you add that. The sparkler in brass. Oh. And the white stuff on the sparkler is flux. So you fluxed it? So we brazed it so the brass is welding the steel to the steel nut mm -hmm. so that it's welded and solid. Building your own greaser, huh? No. So I've kind of been playing a little loose and fast with the dimensions of those solar panels. I knew that they were roughly 40 by 80. So I went down to verify and they are there. It's 39 and 3 8 by 79 and 1 8. That gives me a much more specific dimension. I want to drill holes in the ends of these angle irons for where the screws will go into the frame on the solar panel and have those holes pre-drilled five eighths of an inch difference in width across six panels added up is going to change the way these sit so I wanted to make sure we had it right before I started drilling those holes. 